Today I'm going to show you how I made a commercial at home that looks like this. What's up guys, my name is David Pierce Tuttle and today I'm shooting a mock commercial at home from my living room for Beyond Raw Lit pre-workout powder, specifically the gummy worm flavor. I'm not sponsored uh, in any way by them. This video isn't sponsored in any way. My wife and I just really happen to love their products. We drink this stuff before our workouts every day. We think it tastes great. So I love the gummy worm flavor. Um, so we decided to make a commercial for it. We're shooting on my GH4 with a Metabone Speed Booster and a Canon 50mm lens, so it's really more like a 70mm focal length, so it should be a bit more flattering for the product. That is just set up on a tripod and is static. My lighting, I have my ESDDI uh, video light set up as my key light. I used my 5-in-1 reflector board, which actually has a, a diffusion part in it and I kind of jerry-rigged that up with my pelican case and it, just a sandbag and a bungee cord so that I could get some extra diffusion on my key light. Then back behind here as my fill light or kind of rim light I have my ring light that's set to a small I think 10% um, just to give it a little pop on the side and stick that out from the background. Then similarly, the last light I have is a tiny uh, aperture light, uh, just on a tiny mini tripod down beneath here, kind of illuminating up the background. Let's see, uh, we're gonna see what we come up with. So, let's get it. Okay, so for the opening shot, I'm just doing some light reveals. I'm doing this because I kind of wanted to build some momentum in the very beginning to lead up to that punch of that ink shot, the real money hero shot. So, um, so this setup we got going on here is just pretty simple. I got the product sitting here on my um, electronic Lazy Susan black foam core and with the black foam board behind it as the background. I've got my camera on a tripod. I'm using the Sigma 18 to 35, and then I'm using the Aperture AL M9 light here, which is great. And I'm just gonna hover over, and it's gonna look pretty cool. So for this shot, I'm just doing stop motion photography. This is actually the third time I'm trying this whole scene out or this shot out. Um, the first time I tried it out, I put the gummy worms on a different board and the gummy worms actually have a film on them when you just open them out of the bag. So when I placed them down and would pick them back up, they would leave a, a mark, a little residue on it. So I actually had to leave the gummy worms out and kind of let them dry or cure, if you will, and I went and got a different board then. The second time I tried it, I just tried it on the cloth here, but you could see the texture and the grain in it when editing in the photos, and it just it turned out really poorly. So uh, I decided uh, I gotta do it right, and let me just get a nice flat matte black board and set up the scene again. So third time trying it but third time's a charm, so I'll take a picture and then I'll take away a couple of gummy worms, take another picture, take away some more gummy worms and repeat the process until I've got about 10 photos or so. And then in post, I will just put those together, zoom in, do a little rotation, and it should come out like that. So let's get the shot for the third time.
Okay, what's up? So for the underwater ink shot, wow, this has taken a long time to get set up, but it's finally here. I've done tons of test runs on a small scale, and I tried this a couple times before and lots and lots of trial and error, but I think I'm ready to take the first take, hopefully one and done. But in any case, uh, this is the setup. The fish tank is filled up and I have the product uh, attached to a weight and I just used some Gorilla Tape and a nail and some fishing lines. So the, the product is sort of sleeping with the fishes, so to speak. And so it's being suspended in the middle. I had to get all the bubbles out using a little squeegee, but I don't have a squeegee, so I just used a little spatula and got it a clear frame. I'm using my iPhone because it can shoot at 240 frames per second. I'm using the Filmic Pro app so I can set and lock my exposure and shutter speed, ISO, all that. So my shutter speed is at twice the frame rate, so I'm shooting at one over 480, and you have to get a ton of light to get that, but I have that set up. I also have my GH4 set up at 96 frames per second uh, as a, with a 50 millimeter lens on it to get a tight shot, because I want to get as many shots as I can of this uh, per take, since it's so time consuming. I think it took about two and a half hours to just get to where we are here. In any case, uh, I have this setup where the foam boards, these black foam boards, are blocking all the light. All the lights are off here except for in the studio. So you wanna make sure that all the light is only focused in on the product. Uh, so there's no reflections of anything going on. I even put gaff tape on the back of my phone, uh, black gaff tape so you can't see any reflections. I got the black foam board at the very back, blo uh, blocking the back reflections. And I'm using uh, Liquitex acrylic ink. I have a green, yellow, and red for the brand colors. And I'm gonna start off doing just a yellow and green. And you wanna make sure you, when you put them in under the water, I kinda have them crossed, I've found in all the experiments. And just give it a good blast and the, uh, the slow motion should show it off pretty well. And hopefully if there's no bubbles and all that stuff, it'll be pretty easy to edit it and post. So without further ado, let's, uh, let's get the shot. Ink shot, take one. So for the going through the bottle shot, since I don't have a probe lens yet, I'm using my GoPro. And the settings that I'm using on it are really important because I wanna be able to use slow motion so that I can stabilize it in post. And I also want it to be able to focus all the way through the bottle. And so that's why I'm using this, the, the GoPro. It has a setting on here that you can change the field of view from an ultra wide to like a very narrow uh, field of view. And so that's what I'm using. I've got it set 1080, 60 frames per second so that I can slow it down to post. And essentially all I'm doing is I'm gonna try and stay as still as I can and hold the GoPro vertical facing down over it. And then uh, I'm, the goal is to open the bottle with my left hand here without moving the bottle and then 
do a vertical motion and bring the GoPro down through the mouthpiece. So, and then in post, I will mask out around the mouthpiece and we'll go into the next shot. I'm sure this will take a couple takes because I don't have a slider also or something to keep this really steady. So I have to do as best as I can to just keep this kind of steady and kind of go down and make sure I keep the mouthpiece in frame. Keeping it in the center of the frame is going to be really important. So kind of when I go down, I want to make sure that the, I hit kind of right over that. So it would be a hand bottle for this too. Okay, so for the mixing shot, I'm using my iPhone to take this. Reason being, it can shoot in 240 frames per second, and my camera can only shoot 96 frames per second, and I want it to be as slow as possible. So uh, this is actually the second time I'm doing this. The first time I tried it, I was using a different uh, plastic, clear plastic bucket, but the mouthpiece was too small, so it kept, like every time I would throw the gummy worms in, it would I would hit the tripod or I'd hit the bucket and it would just screw everything up. So uh, I found this wider mouth plastic uh, mixing bowl in my kitchen. So I just filled that up and I reset everything up here with a tripod and a couple uh, magic arms to mount the phone just above it. And so now I've got a bit more room. And since the camera is over on this upper sort of upper side or whatever, it's kind of a bit off center. So I will throw the gummy worms kind of over the front and side here. So it just kind of goes over that, over the lens. I use a cork uh, here to toss in to set focus and set the white balance. Um, pet shots last time, it looked pretty cool just as long as there wasn't any shaking. So hopefully now with this, there won't be any of that, and I'm gonna take the gummy worms and toss them in, and I'm gonna get the, I'm just gonna use a spoon here and just get it spinning and stuff, so it looks pretty cool when it when it drops in, so without further ado, uh, let's get the shot. underwater shots without the ink. Premise is that I'm gonna spin the spin the bottle and then throw gummy worms in the water and have them splash and fall in it. And without further ado, let's get the shot.